I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to write conjugate of a radical expression. The question is write conjugate of each radical expression. We have four of them. I will do two for you and you can do the other two. So we have 5 square root 3 minus 1 minus 2 square root 5 minus 3 square root 5 square root 3 minus 3 square root 2 and 3 square root 3 plus 2 square root 6. When I say conjugate, it really means what? It really means that if I have an expression, let's say square root a plus b, then the conjugate will be square root a minus b, right? That will be the conjugate. Well, I could also write minus square root a plus b as the conjugate. Both are conjugates. Since if I multiply them, I will get rid of the square root part and we call that as a rationalization, right? Now, sometimes students get confused if I give you an expression as square root a minus square root b. In that case, what will be the conjugate? Well, here also we have two combinations. One, you could write this as, you have to change just one of them, one of the signs to make it conjugate. So you could prefer to, you could do this, changing sign for a, or you could maintain this as negative, but change the sign for square root b. Both will be the conjugate, right? So just to test it out, what you should do is, you should multiply by these and then check whether the square root part has been taken over or not, right? So that is the whole idea. Now with that in mind, I hope now it's very easy to write down the answer for these questions. So first one is 5 square root 3 minus 1. So we could write this as 5 square root 3 plus 1. So when that is a choice, we'll prefer to write that number. It looks better. In this case, I have a choice. I could either make plus 3 or plus 2 square root 5. I'll prefer this one. So that is my preference. So the conjugate is 2 square root 5 minus 3. However, if you write minus 2 square root 5 plus 3, that will also be right. So both are right. So, right? But you have to change only one sign, not both. That is important to understand. Similarly, here we will we'll prefer to change any one sign. So we could write this as minus 5 square root 3 plus 3 square root 2, right? In this case, it is better to change the sign in the center, 3 square root 3 minus 2 square root 6. Now as an added exercise, I'd like you to multiply your expression with the conjugate and find the result, right? That is an important exercise which you could do, right? So let me do one for you. Part B is kind of, okay. So let's do C itself. I'll just continue here. So we'll multiply these two and check. So we have minus five square root three minus three square root two. And we are going to multiply this by minus five square root three plus three square root two. So distributive property. So when you multiply minus minus, you get plus 5 times 5 is 25. So you get 25. Square root 3 times square root 3 is 3. When you multiply this by the second term, we get negative 15 square root 6. Now let's multiply by minus 3 square root 2. Minus minus becomes plus 3 times 5 is 15. Square root 2 times square root 3 is square root 6. And the last term here will be plus and minus is minus. 3 times 3 is 9. Square root 2 times square root 2 is number 2. As you can clearly see here, these two terms, they cancel out. So what do you get? So we get this as equal to 25 times 3 is 75 minus 9 times 2, 18. Do you get the answer? So we got rid of the radical part and that is what is your conjugate. So once you get your conjugate, then multiplying the radical with its conjugate eliminates the radical part. And what you get is a rational number. So that is what the whole exercise is. Do you understand? 
So when you take away from 15, you get 7, and from 6, you get 5. So 57 is your answer. I'd like you to do the same exercise for part B and check with yours. Answer both, try both. Do you get the same answer, kind of, right? So once you conjugate, multiply with the conjugate, you get rid of the radical part, and that's the beauty of this. I hope you understand and appreciate the method. Thank you, and all the best.